What up, y'all? It's Zay. And today, you know, I'm going to do a video on how I started eating plant-based. And if you want to start eating plant-based, what you need to do and how you need to go about it to make it a smooth transition. So, I started eating the plant-based diet before I actually did it and maintained it. When I used to, you know, do boxing and working out and all kind of stuff like that, I used to experiment with different diets. And uh, that's what kind of led me to the vegetarian diet. Just to, I used to do it for a discipline type thing. But fast forward to about 2017, uh, I was just doing a lot of different things and a lot of reading and just a lot of growth as a person, you know, spiritually, all that. So something led me to want to stop eating meat. So I stopped eating meat. And well, I knew I was going to stop eating meat, and that was the goal. And that was in 2017. I had. I had eased my way into it though, and that's the key right there. I had stopped eating beef and pork and everything like that, and then I was just eating chicken and fish and eggs. And then slowly I started dropping off those other things. I started dropping off the chicken, and then I was only eating fish and eggs. And then I stopped eating eggs, and I was only eating fish. And then uh, I got to the point where you know I was a vegetarian. I didn't I didn't uh, do the vegan thing just yet because I still had to get my feet wet eating as a, a vegetarian first. And that's that's the most important part. Transition is slowly. So you as you start uh, removing certain meats from your diet, you learn what foods you need to replace it. And that's just that's just the beginning. Like you're going to start needing to know, OK, what vitamins do I need to take that I'm not getting because I'm not eating meat anymore? And and uh other nutrients you need to make sure you're getting but the main thing about uh, a plant-based diet is it's going to show you how to how to eat uh more complete eating a more complete meal because you know uh i noticed even when i was eating meat i couldn't say i wasn't eating the complete meals but there'd be times where i wasn't really eating complete meals i could just eat a couple pieces of chicken drink me something and that was it you know what i'm saying it's like but what just just from being more healthy and eating a plant-based lifestyle showed me that i need to have you know everything on my plate as far as like like greens and uh different proteins and just just having a more uh, complete meal you know so even if you don't want to go completely vegetarian you know plant-based plant-based diet isn't just vegan like you don't have to just be vegan there are different types of plant-based uh diets i don't know if they include pescatarian in there but that could be considered plant-based as long as i guess you're not eating a lot of fish but you know pescatarian you got vegetarian there's vegetarians that still eat eggs uh then you go all the way to vegan but see there's different there's different like names for everything because really if you're vegan you're not supposed to eat anything that that um that is sourced by animals so like you're really not even supposed to eat honey because that's from bees like you're not supposed to wear leather because that comes from animals but that's a whole different story now as far as a vegan diet yeah but still in a vegan diet you're really still not supposed to eat honey because that comes from bees but you know if you're but that's that's neither here nor there. If you're just trying to get started in a plant-based diet, the best thing for you to do is slowly start removing the meats uh, that you want to eat. So if you're eating everything, start with your least favorite or, or, or one of the ones that would just be easier for you to remove and work your way down. So if you eat everything like I used to, I would just say, let me start, let me remove the worst ones. So let me stop eating pork. Let me stop eating the beef. And then now I'm just eating chicken and fish and eggs. All right, let me stop eating the chicken and the eggs and let me just only eat the fish. And then you keep working your way down till you're just a vegetarian and you're only eating vegetarian. Now, people have been vegetarian for a long time, but when I started, even just in 2017, it didn't seem as easy as it would be for you to start today in 2022 because there are so many products out there for you to to eat it's amazing like i remember i would have to go to certain stores and certain sections in the store to get all the products i was looking for now almost every store has plant-based options vegan options so it is really not too difficult and uh another part of uh, the story is i started back eating meat. okay i stopped eating meat 
and began my transition into the vegetarianism in 2017 and all the way up until 2020 September of 2020 so I'd say I started my plant-based journey at about uh, October ish of 2017 and then 2020 September I started eating meat again because I had got really skinny that's another topic I'm gonna talk about I got really skinny because I wasn't really working out like I was supposed to and I wanted to put some weight back on so I was like I'm gonna start eating fish and then I started eating fish for a couple months and I you know started putting some weight back on and then I started eating uh, chicken again and I started eating just like chicken I was eating like lamb deer like I didn't I didn't ever pick up the beef or the pork again though that's that's just I said I'm not gonna ever eat beef or pork again but uh yeah so fast forward from September 2020 to September ish August September ish 2021 I stopped eating meat again I went back and this time I went straight vegan because uh like over over that period of time, like I had got sick a couple times. I remember I had even got COVID. Like I was just like, bruh. I was like, I, I don't know if it's because I started eating meat again, but something just told me I want to go back plant based. So I went ahead and went back plant based, and I just went all the way vegan this time. And it's crazy because yeah, I was still work. I, I was working out as I was eating the meat again, but it's crazy because. I had got up to about 185 pounds, probably on average about 181. And now, since I've went back vegan or went to vegan, uh, as I'm doing this video, it's March of 2022, and I went back in September of 2021. I went to vegan in September 2021, so I lost 30 pounds. Like I weigh 150 pounds now, and. Like, I was doing a lot of cardio type stuff. Like, I wasn't lifting weights no more, like, heavy or nothing like that. And just at the job I was at, I was losing I was losing weight from moving around so much. And I fast a lot, too. So, it can definitely help you if you have, like, kind of healthier eating habits and you go plant-based, you'll lose a lot of weight. So, if that's something that you want to do, it can help you, especially if you have pretty healthy eating habits you'll definitely lose some weight because every time I ever uh, started the beginning of my plant-based journey, from the beginning of my plant-based journey, I lost like 20 pounds, 25 pounds. So I'm a naturally, like I'm not, I guess I'm not a, a person who carries a lot of weight. I have to lift weights and eat to, to gain weight. So whenever I uh, stop lifting weights or I'm eating really clean or especially when, you, when I go plant-based, I lose a lot of weight. So that's definitely something for you to think about like if you already a healthy eater and you go plant-based you're definitely gonna lose some weight and uh especially if you work out too i was working i was uh doing a lot of cardio i was fasting my now fasting definitely helped me lose a lot of weight and then just like there would be days where i'd only eat one time a day i would try different little things like eating once a day sometimes i'll only eat fruit just doing all kinds of different little stuff so that's pretty much it. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I've been doing shorts of just different meals that I eat, and I'm gonna continue to do that. I'm gonna do some cooking videos showing you how I cook, just different ideas for you. So as you try to go plant based, it's an easy transition and just easy, simple meals, nothing too crazy that you you gotta do. And you know, I'm just gonna keep it up, man, because I know there's a lot of people out there who want to try it might get discouraged might seem like a lot but if you just do a little bit and just ease your way on into it just just maybe do the meatless mondays and stuff like that and just just have certain days and just learn uh the lifestyle of plant-based eating and just healthier eating it's gonna be an easy seamless transition next thing you know you'll be knee deep in it and you'll be loving it because i love it i have a lot more energy you know i'm not gonna say it's just the end all be all fix because you do you still have to eat healthy you can be vegan and eat unhealthy so you can you can be plant based and eat unhealthy because you can still there's so many unhealthy options you can eat. A lot of people don't know, you know, like there's Oreos are, are vegan, you know, because they're not made with real cream. Uh, sweet spice, the sweet, the purple bag Doritos, my favorite ones. They're vegan. They don't have any milk in them. You know what I'm saying? So you can you can, fries are vegan. Like you can still eat unhealthy. So it's not an end all be all fix to anything. You still have to put in some effort. 
but it definitely is a, a rewarding lifestyle once you once you learn the ins and outs of it i'm not gonna say it's gonna be super easy right off the bat there was a lot of things i had to learn but it, it's definitely if it fits your goals and it's very rewarding so that's all for that y'all tap back in man we gonna continue